So folks tell me this is the top of a crinoid. It's, it's, it's heavy, but it's not the worst. <laughs> Well, I think this is probably going to be the find of the day. That is really is beautiful. Dope? Yes. Oh, yeah. But I was also really excited by... Um... Hi, Sean. So, Sean has found a macroplora. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Fossil Hunting and Collecting with Chris. We are off to a great start this spring. We've been to the Hudson Highlands, we've been to the Catskills, and even Western New York. So I have a lot of good stuff to show you. It's a matter of editing it all now. But the first one out the gate here is Hudson Highlands. We went to the Hudson Highlands, had a really good time, found a lot of cephalopods, among other fossils, really big cephalopods. So let's take a look at what we found. So, my fossil hunting friends, before we go, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy the latest fossil hunting adventures. So we are at yet another quarry in the Catskills. We are looking at this one is full of Devonian fossils. Looks like mainly Devonian, probably Beecraft formation, maybe New Scotland, but looks like the upper part of the lower Devonian, if, if that makes sense to everybody. So we're looking for, I already see a lot of really nice stuff in this rock. Unfortunately, some of it is near stuff that is overhanging, so we can't go near it. But there's plenty of rock here, so there should be plenty for everybody. Where, where did you find Bob? Oh, privatized slick and slide. Very nice, very nice. And a slick and slide, that has to do with earthquakes? Yes, the, yeah. where the faults rub Ooh. up against each other. In case you find it hard to picture, here is what Bob is talking about with those slick and slides. These are places where grooves are left in the rock due to earthquakes occurring. When earthquakes happen, the rocks tend to settle and move and jostle about going up and down, leaving scratches at the places that the rock breaks and now contacts up against each other. Over time, very often crystals can settle into these cracks and future movements inside the rocks can cause these beautiful crystal patterns. Whether it's crystal or just grooves in the rock, these traces of rocks sliding past each other from seismic activity are called slick and slides. So over here is an example of the crystal slick and slides. You can see the groove from where the rocks were rubbing against each other, sliding up and down during aftershocks and other movements of the rock. Remember, while this was happening, Pangea was forming. We had a lot of movement going on. So you see a lot of activity in the rocks. The other side is even nicer. It's the side where the crystal settled in the gap. Let's take a look at that. Here on the other side, we see all these beautiful calcite crystals uh, filling in the gap where the earthquake had occurred. As you sort of carve into the rock and make a nice design there. Thank you, thank you for showing us that. That's the problem, big fossils there in, uh, tend to be in big rocks. 
Oh, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Oh, Sean. Hi, hi, Sean. So Sean has found a Macroplura. The Macroplura is a, probably the largest brachiopod that we can find here. Unfortunately, large brachiopods are in large rocks. So uh, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge if, uh, do you have any heavier hammers than that? I, uh, I do, I have a sledge. You think oh. I could take a sledge to this? Yes, because see how it has these cracks going this way? Oh, that's a big rock. Oh, it's dimension. huge. Yeah, it's uh, and I'm worried with one crack going right through it. No, I think in this case, it might be better to look for another one well, in a smaller I'm, rock. There is a impression on this one. It's uh, even bigger than that. And so I'm gonna look uh, down here. Can I, can I have your names again? I'm sorry. Uh, David. David and Carrie. Carrie and you found them. Wow, what a beautiful cephalopod. It's large. Hold on the show. It's very well preserved. You can see all the little segments there. That is an awesome piece. There's two others in that area. Someone's trying to get another a smaller one than this out, and then there's another one. There's gone. another one you can't get out though. Mm. Like this. Like that. But wow. this was on the ground already. We got lucky. Very nice. Thank, thank you so much for showing us that. Thank you. So I understand giant cephalopods have been found over here. Can I put you in your blog? In our blog? Yeah, sure. All right. Wow. Very nice. It's really well detailed. Exactly. Yeah. Are you the finder? Yeah. Can I have your first name? Sure, I'm Karen. Karen, thank you very much for showing us that. Is uh, is this your first time collecting or you've been here many times? Uh, it's my first time collecting um, on this trip and in this quarry. Oh, okay, okay, well, um, awesome. Awesome, that's a really nice sample. Are you gonna saw that out or somebody gonna saw that out for you? It's really sad because we forgot our rock drill at home. Uh. <laughs> we have the drill bits and we have the wedges and we have the batteries that we charged. Well, we didn't bring the trail. Oh, um, I have a 12 pound hammer. I don't know if I don't, that, that might end up destroying it though. I would say take plenty of pictures of it. <laughs> I can send you pictures. Actually, your pictures will be in the vlog. It's um, fossil hunting and collecting with Chris. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for showing us that. Yeah, thanks. Anybody else? Any finds? Another one a few feet down, let's see. The quarry that we've been allowed into is in the area of Hudson, New York. It is one where you do need permission from the owners to go into. Here is an older map of the quarry that gives us an idea of what formations we are running into. Near the bottom of this, we're going to see some of the round out formation. This goes back to the Silurian. Above that is the Manlius. Manlius is either Silurian or Devonian, uh, depending on what literature you read. Then we go into the Lower Devonian, Coimbrans Formation, Gawkberg, and New Scotland. Finally, it's capped off by the Beecraft. The Beecraft is the highest Lower Devonian formation that is exposed in this quarry. We like the Beecraft because it has lots of crinoids and lots of fossils in general. A very nice Lower Devonian formation to search for fossils. So here is the other one that's been found. I want to take measures. Yep. Are you the finder? No, somebody else wanted it, they didn't want it. So we're just kind of, we're going to take it if they don't want it. Mm -hmm. Size. No, That's not even all of it. We will give yeah. it a try. Really, wow, really beautiful detail on that. So this rock over here has some big rocky pods called macro. I'm going to try and see if I can split it to make it a little bit lighter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Chances are it'll be good. 
Oh, let me try it again. Gotten it out, but no one has a rock to it. All right, so can I see what you did yet? Yeah. So this one is very similar. Oh, shadows of way. This is awesome. Wow. Can't really see what it's showing, but there we go. That is nice. You have all the little segments. Each one of these is a little bit growth. Is that heavy? It's it's that... it's heavy, but it's not the worst. <laughs> well, I think this is probably going to be the find of the day. That is really is beautiful. So? Yes. Oh yeah. What I was also really excited by um, there's pyrite with fossils in this rock, which is yes. pretty fun. Towards the uh, end of the Silurian and early Devonian. We're seeing what's called another oxidation event. There was an oxidation event about two billion years ago when a lot of cyanobacteria put um, ox free oxygen into the oceans. Eventually the oceans became saturated. And by the Devonian, it started to go into the air. It would leach out pyrite from the continents, which would wash down and back into the water. And you would end up with this iron sulfide preservation of lots of fossils. Yeah. I'm pretty thrilled with both of these. <laughs> uh, you, you had an awesome day. That's all, that's excellent. Thank you. Yeah. You better not find one then. You won't be able to get it out. Wow, look at that. It stands out really nicely. Uh, over on that, that rock. If I, Chris, uh, if you give him a little space, sure. he can take a view. Okay, so can I have your name, please? Uh, Sandy. Sandy, okay. Where did you find Sandy? Um, so, folks, tell me this is the top of a crinoid. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. That's stem, so stem attachment. The, uh, I guess it's like a cup shape. Yes, and it would have little kind of like finger things coming out of the cup that would be mm -hmm. uh, sifting, set of, sifting through the water for the stuff that it ate. So yes, that's uh, that would have been almost like they look almost like plants when yeah. they're. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you familiar, are you familiar with what they look like? Yeah, yeah. long stem and hold fast. And yes, yeah. that is neat. So I said yours was the find of the day. I think you have another find <laughs> of the day between the two of you. I don't know who has the best find of the day, but they are both very very good finds. I'm gonna have to rock paper scissors. But... <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, oh God. <laughs> yeah. You. So that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much for showing us that. <laughs> You're welcome. My friends, I hope you like this film so far. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these videos. Back to the show. Okay, last stop of the day. We're looking at a site that has lots and lots of crinoids. I already have a lot from here, so I'm probably going to just go around and see what everybody else finds and see if they're willing to let me put them in the vlog. Fish? Is that what you were yeah, saying? Yeah, we went to the Green River uh, Fish Quarry. Yeah. Yeah, and both of us found stingrays. Oh wow! Like individually, totally different. Yeah, we have two separate yeah. stingrays. You have all the luck. <laughs> so, wow. It's funny because we're more crystal people than fossil people. Yeah, usually we just go out for crystals. Yeah. Uh, well, here is the tiebreaker over here. It is a uh, a really nice coral, a branching coral, or bryso. Let me just take a closer look. Yeah. It's just been nice, real nicely weathered out of there, so you can see all the detail. I think it's a... Oh, we thought it was a coral. Uh, it, could, it could be, a, well, Bryce Owens are very similar to corals. Mm. They, they look just, they're also colonial, they look just like them. But, uh, yeah, very not another, very nice fossil. Thank you very much for showing us that. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's interesting. This over here, those very thin layers, are called varve. They are formed when, get my shadow out of the way, they are formed from lakes, lakes that dry up. They make layer by layer, season after season, or mudslide after mudslide. So some, some samples of varv. Nice. The spoon comes out dripping and slippery all wet. Varv clay all the way down. Open the sample and what do you get? We got varv clay all the way down. My threads are 1 16th to quarter inch round. Varv clay all the way down. 20 feet left on this hole in the ground. We got varv clay all the way down. The Connecticut valleys within glacial lake. Varv clay all the way down. Rock till clay silt sand a stratified lake. We got varv clay all the way down. A pocket penetrometer and torving can test. Varv clay all the way down. Take Shelby's more samples, the lab does the rest. We got varv clay all the way down. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I'm going to have to show my students as well. That's office. awesome. Oh, look how low to the ground my poor car is. I'm going to have to get all those rocks out of there quickly as possible. So this wraps up another great trip. Thank you so much for joining me on the fossils of the Hudson Islands. A lot of great cephalopods. See us next time where we're going to look at the Catskills and later Western New York. Thank you so much for watching and happy fossil hunting.